Good morning, everybody. Today, we're coming at you with a sponsored video. This is a Ned Foss 15 inch hatchet. This thing looks amazing. I was stoked when Ned Foss reached out to me and wanted me to do some reviews on some of their products. And without a doubt, I said, yes, I will promote some of your products. And I've just been super blown away with the quality, especially of this hatchet right here. So this thing right here is great if you're looking for a gift or something to give somebody or you're looking to get into bushcraft and you want that vintage bushcraft look you don't want to buy like a new hatchet that's got like the polymer handle and stuff like that you want something that looks more retro this is going to be for you and it's super functional built very very well we're going to dive into the specs today talking about what makes this hatchet so awesome for the money i mean look at that sheath right there for 55 bucks and it comes with that really high quality leather sheath I don't think you can go wrong, guys. Stay tuned for the video. We're going to tell you why this hatchet is awesome. Like and subscribe. Let's get going. All right, so like we said, if you're looking for like a mid-size hatchet or I'd say small to mid-size hatchet, this thing's going to fit the bill for you. It has a really awesome head design on it kind of like that hudson bay style look and we're going to dive into the specs a little bit more but just overall look at the quality that hammer forged high carbon steel head on this thing the double steel inserts right there just make it super high quality the mirror finish on the blade so bushcraft is kind of where i think this hatchet kind of falls into place but also like a camp hatchet just something you could throw in your backpack or bug out bag because a lot of people don't like those new style hatchets because they're they're really hard to replace handles in if you were in like a survival situation this right here you're going to be able to fashion a new handle relatively easy if you know how to do that kind of stuff uh, so this makes it a lot easier to do that so breaking down some of the specs here high carbon steel head it doesn't specify exactly what kind of high carbon steel on the hardness scale it does specify 50 to 55 on the hardness and it does say that during the heat treating it is heat treated on the blade and not the head here so it's going to retain its softness in the metal here but it's also going to retain its edge retention and things like that the ease of sharpening and it's going to have some durability on that edge so really nice there and we're going to put this thing to the test today and see if it really holds up we're going to be chopping on a lot of stuff we got a lot of wood out here that's just dead wood, really hard, dried out wood. And we're gonna be chopping the crap out of this thing. So we're gonna put it to the test and really see if this thing holds up and if it's gonna be a good purchase for you. And we're gonna leave uh, the link in the description box for this on Amazon. Uh, so you can check it out if you're looking to purchase one of these. And we're gonna show you why I think this thing is gonna be really good. All right, so like we said, Hudson Bay style head on this thing. Weighing in about two and a half pounds total. So about a two pound head on this. And it is pretty hefty. I mean, if you're looking to swing a little small hatchet like this, you kind of want some heft behind that head. And the way the ergos are on the handle, you're gonna be able to swing this thing pretty good. It feels really nice and balanced. So it does have a balanced straight hang on it. I mean, it looks pretty straight. So no complaints there. I really like how they did hang it with the wood still above the line of the head here. That's gonna ensure that it's mushroomed out. And we'll show you, let's see, right there. You can see how it's mushroomed out really nice. So it's gonna ensure that the head doesn't slip up on that handle. Cause I've had axes and hatchets in the past where they're just flush fit and they end up slipping and stuff. So this is really nice. And it does have those two steel inserts and the wooden wedge, it also makes it a really high quality piece of equipment. A lot of times the budget stuff doesn't have that and, and you're getting that high quality at a budget price with this tool right here. So really, really nice item from Ned Foss. It does have a three and a quarter inch edge on it. So the cutting area, three and a quarter inches and the length of the head right here, 6.3 inches overall from the pommel here to the edge so a nice little balance right there and like we said the head weighs in probably about two pounds it didn't specify but if i had to guess 
with the overall weight being 2.4 pounds, I'd say the handle accounts for the almost half pound and then the head is about two pounds. So a nice little balance right there. I think it's a really good sized hatchet. All right, so the handle, this thing has a beech wood handle on it. So it has a really good grain definition. I think this thing is gonna last very, very long time. And it has like a little, uh, like a mahogany looking uh, varnish on it. It looks really good. It looks pretty good. And also on the blade there, you get a little Ned Foss, little stamped in piece right there. That's really cool. There's a good look at the whole head right there. Look at that hammer forged design. I mean, it's just simple. It looks retro, it looks vintage, it looks bushcrafty, it looks woodsy, and I love it. I'm digging this thing. I think it's really awesome. I've been wanting to get my hands on this thing for a long time, and when Ned Foss reached out, I was ecstatic to partner up with him. I think this is a really, really nice hatchet. This is a uh, thicker handle, which I kind of like. I think it really adds to the balance of this thing, and it has that really nice curvature there. And uh, we're gonna see how this thing does feather sticks and little bushcrafty tasks. But I like how you can kind of choke up on this thing. It has that, uh, doesn't have a really pronounced beard to it, but you can really get up in there, you know, and push those feather sticks. I think it's gonna be nice. And I really like the ergos of the handle, the way it kind of curves back. It's gonna allow that head to have a lot of force, but your hand's kind of behind everything. And it does have a lanyard hole and a nice little lanyard here, which you could replace if you wanted a, you know, a leather piece right there. I think it would complement the leather sheath that this thing comes with, uh, but I think that would be a really good addition. All right, let's talk about the sheath. So the sheath is a really high quality piece of leather. You can see the little embossed logo there. Has a little snap retainer, which is really nice, good positive snap. The welt on this thing is really, really good. I mean, this reminds me of like knife sheaths you get from Condor or BPS knives. They're just really nice, high quality piece of leather. Right there, you can see it's dried out really good. They put a nice little fold in it. That's what that little line is. But overall, a nice little sheath and it fits really, really well. All right, that thing ain't going nowhere. So that's gonna protect your blade edge as well as protect everything that's in your bag. Or if you're carrying this thing out and you were to trip and fall, you know, this is gonna protect you from getting cut by that blade. But just a really nice package right here. All right, so that's enough on the specs. Let's go break this thing out and start chopping some wood and seeing how this thing handles all these tasks we're gonna throw at it. All right, stay tuned, we're testing this thing. All right, we got this log right here. We're just gonna go to town on it really putting this hatchet to the test and seeing how it works. He's cutting really, really good. I'll show you this. And look at that. That's probably over a quarter of the way through this log right here. And this, the way this head is, makes it really, really easy to really bite in. And that blade, the edge, you can really tell when it bites in. And this is some really, really hard wood. I mean, I don't know what kind of wood this is. It's some type of native to New Mexico type wood, but it is just hard as a rock. So there you go. Let's uh, chop some other stuff with it. A little thing here. Good easy work of that. 
just a really nice blade design. I really like the way the blade is on this thing, or the edge. All right, got a little uh, log right here that we're gonna go ahead and chop. go got through that once again this stuff is really just dried out and as hard as can be this thing's doing it all right let's see how this thing does splitting some wood so if you're using this around a camp or something like that you're gonna be able to split wood with it all right super easy that thing had some uh knots and everything in it See how it does on this one. Uh, no problem there. So splits wood really nice. Let's see how this thing does with some feather sticks. We're gonna try some feather sticks with this thing. I don't know if the blade's gonna allow us to do anything. I haven't put a different type of edge on it or anything. This is straight out of the box. But I think it's gonna do okay. If we just get it to bite a little bit. There we go, it's doing some curls. All right, here we go. I don't know if you can see it from the camera angle there, but it is making these feathers. So there you go. It'll do it. If, so if you were gonna use this for bushcraft and your knife were to, you know, lose its edge or something like that, you still could use this to make some feather sticks with. Let's see if we can strike a ferro rod with this thing. It does have uh, some edges that are kind of like a 90 degree. All right, so if you really wanted to, an ax and everything where it takes a lot of abuse, it's kind of like a, a knife or something like that, you could use your blade to actually strike the ferro rod. All right, just like that. And it's not gonna do anything to your blade because the hardness and everything of the edge is gonna be maintained, so. No nicks or anything like that in the edge. So just FYI, you can do that. All right, let's make a, a point on this piece of stick here. Here we go. Ned Foss 15 inch hatchet. All right, let's see about the hammer pommel this thing has. There we go. You can even use this to drive tent stakes, different things like that. Has a really nice flat back on this head. 
So you can really do all kinds of tasks like that. All right, guys, that's all we got for the review of this 15 inch hatchet by Ned Foss. Once again, if you're looking for a bushcrafty woodsman style hatchet with this Hudson Bay style head, I believe this is gonna be right up your alley. For right around 55 bucks, you can get this. Once again, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you guys can check this thing out. But overall, this thing performed really nice. Handle didn't loosen up or anything during the testing. The edge didn't get any chips or anything during testing. And we were beating on some, you know, really, really hard wood. And this thing did excellent job. Really surprised how well it split wood because it does have that really wedge style head design. So it starts out kind of skinny and then it really widens out up here, makes it really nice for splitting wood. And I think if you sharpen this thing up a little bit more, uh, it could really do feather sticks really well. So this is just me testing it right out of the box, kind of initial impressions and stuff, but it did great. I almost made some pretty decent feathers with it, but it, it did awesome. And once again, you get this really nice leather sheath with it. So guys, I can't complain with this thing. Go check it out in the description box. Go check out Ned Foss. We're gonna be doing quite a few reviews of their knives. So check those out as I post them. Uh, just a really good brand and they sell just about everything on Amazon. So it's really accessible. If you have an Amazon account, you can just click that link. You can order it really, really quick and easy. All right guys, thanks for checking out this review. Like and subscribe, head over to Ned Foss and check their knives out. And guys, I'll catch you in future review videos. Thanks for watching.